Hello to my Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's get right into your reading. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity for every area and every area of your lives. Remember the only planet currently retrograde, it's Pluto. Pluto is the rebirth planet, right? This is the rebirth planet. Rebirth, it's also the metamorphosis planet. It's the planet of... Um, it's a regenerative planet, right? Metamorphosis also. It's also the planet of obsessions, right? So make sure you are in fertile environments so that you, whatever seeds you're planting during this flower moon phase that we're in, we're in a flower moon cycle actually, but we're still in the full moon phase, um, that we're, they we're in this full moon um, flower, full moon cycle, that you are in environments where you can actually grow. So you're in spaces where whatever it is you want to grow, you're in those spaces. So... All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. You don't want anything stifling your growth. Let's go. Already prayed over your cards. Let's do it. All right, first card out of the deck is the Temperance card. Here we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Here we also have the Two of Swords. Here we have the Death card. Here we also have the Queen of Swords. And then also the Fool card. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Temperance card, right? So, yeah. So somebody has a guardian angel watching over you, helping you through your, through your, um, you know, while you're balancing things out, seeing things from a highest frequency, you know, to just be in harmony, be in harmony with yourselves and also making sure there's balance within yourselves. Here we also have the ace of pentacles. Make sure you can see that ace of pentacles. We also have the two of swords. We also have the death card. Like I said, somebody has a guardian angel on the other side, just um, kind of sort of watching over things, helping you to, you know, move through these growth stages, um, Aquarius. So that's always nice to know. So if you've been having any downloads or any dreams or any feelings, you know, during this full moon phase, and then by the way, you know, the 26th, you can do your full moon rituals up until the 26th. Um, rule of thumb, three days prior to the moon being 100% illuminated, three days after, up until three days after. So in this case, it would be up until the 26th of May. You can do your full moon rituals. The moon is technically a gibbous moon. So you're, you're still, you can still do full moon rituals, putting out your gemstones, crystals, and all those other rituals. But also, it's a time for banishing, um, um, repelling. Um, releasing any kind of, uh, breaking any kind of uh, curses, hexes, or anything. So if that's negative self-talk, in this case, let's say about pentacles, right? So pentacles um, is not just money, just so we're clear, Aquarius. This is about, um, it's, it's also about health. So if you've had issues with your health in the past, or you feel like, let's say, for instance, you said, okay, you wanted to lose weight or gain healthy weight or whatever the situation is. And you've talked about, you know how you hear people say negative things about their weight, right? You want to kind of sort of stay away from that. If that's what you're trying to do, you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain healthy weight. So that would be putting a curse on your word. words or spellings, right? Words are spelled a certain way. So you don't want to put that spell on yourself by even tuning into that kind of stuff, even if it's joking about, you know, that stuff, you know, unless it's helping you to get to your goal, then that's what you want to tune into, you know, the whatever, you know, whatever your goal is, that's what you want to connect with, right? So here we also have the Queen of Swords. Um, so you're on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts, and then also the full card here, right? So, yeah. So the full card lets me know that someone's embarking on a whole new journey. Plus, you see the color yellow, right? So you closed out cycles. The full card in upright is about a new endeavor, new cycle. And then again, pentacles is not just about money. So when you say you have a goal, you want to make sure that seed is in places in fertile soil. And so that so you can develop in those in those areas, whatever it is, you know, a, a fertile environment 
is, um, you know, um, situations and places that provide favorable or advantageous conditions for something to happen or to develop. So you want to put yourself in those places, right? You want to connect with those places. And that's what I see you doing. So that's why you want to take the blindfolds off because somebody may not have noticed that in the past when you connect with things, you know, that is going against what you're trying to do. You planted a seed and you're going against those things. Let me give somebody an example of what I mean. So let's say, for instance, you know, um, like when people are fasting, right? And so you say, okay, you're fasting from something. You can fast from television or fast from food or fast from, you know, sweets or whatever it is you're fasting from. And let's say you're watching television. What seems to pop up? or even social media, the very thing that you're trying to fast from, right? It just seems like it's like it's calling you, right? So if you're trying to fast from, you know, certain types of foods, it just seems like it's just more delectable. And so source is saying you want to take the blindfolds off because it's, um, you know, you're going through a rebirth stage. So that lets me know that you're very, everybody, everybody, the entire planet is very vulnerable right now. So protect your energy, okay? So you're starting at ACE, ace at one you're starting back at the root right and so you want to make sure you are protecting your energy okay so new partnerships are trying to come in and so you want to make sure you are in putting yourself in those environments you want to put yourself in those environments uh aquarius you want to make sure you are there so if you're trying to make, um, you know, some kind of new financial or career opportunity or some kind of manifestation and abundance is trying to come in. And so you want to make sure those blindfolds are off. So, yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the star card. Right. So this is where you're hopeful, you're blissful, you're um, optimistic, you know, moving forward. Somebody has definitely been drawing from your own well. So you've been drawing from your own resources. Right. And so this is where source is saying there's help coming your way. You know, Aquarius, some energies are coming your way to help. So you definitely want to take the blindfolds off. So congratulations again. Congratulations to you all. This is what someone has prayed for. So congratulations to you. This is really good news for you all, Aquarius, because this is what you prayed for. Yes, this is what you prayed for, Aquarius. This is what someone prayed for. This is what someone asked for. So yeah, as this moon is, you know, moving into your sign, you know that you're landed on the light side if you're feeling more idealistic, creative, tolerant, more humanitarian with a progressive outlook. But in contrast, you'll know people who have landed on the dark side if it seems more unpredictable, contrary, aloof, fixed in an opinion, tactless. tactless. Um, like I mentioned in previous readings, you all move from your heart chakra. So you're looking for equanimity, you know, looking for your what you have like common bonds with energy. So a new opportunity is coming across your path, possibly to go in business, you know, with energies. And so you're, you're, um, here we have the queen of swords energy right here. And so the energy, let's see a little bit more about the energy that's coming across your path. Let's see what the energy that's coming across your path. For this Aquarius, yeah. Here we have the Eight of Wands. Here we also have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Here we have the World card. Here we have the Lovers card, the Eight of Swords, and then also the Nine of Swords. Okay, now this is interesting. Okay, so something ended. What, okay, this is what we got. This card right here, the World card, which is your other ruling planet. So these two are your ruling planets, right? So something ended fast, like as soon as something began, something ended. Something potentially could have started, but it ended just as fast, right? It's like grand opening, grand closing. So that number eight. So number eight, when you turn it to the side, it looks like the infinity symbol, right? So something would have thrown you in, into an infinite, like, you know, you see something that you know, in, you know, right away, something is not going to work out. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you, you meet people, you know, you think, okay... Um, like I could see somebody like meeting somebody possibly at a place where you sit down, you're about to, you know, you may have talked to them on the phone and you say, okay, I'm going to go out for, you know, like meet at a coffee house or tea house or something like that and just meet for the first time. And you just know instantly, it's not even about how they look, but you can just, you know, instantly, no, this isn't, this isn't going to work for you. It, it would be like a situation like that, or it's like, okay, 
you apply for the job, you got selected for the job because the energy wanted you, Aquarius, because what they saw in you. But when you got connected to the energy, you said, mm, it's not for you. You just know instantly, right? That's why sources is saying somebody's third eye is definitely wide open, right? Because you're on the light side of the number eight, you know exactly you know, what you want to warm up to and what you don't want to warm up to. Because it could, things can instantly attach you to negative karmic, you know, negative karmic cycles. Karma is not good or bad. It just is. And somebody is learning through your prayer life and seeing things from a higher frequency. That's why somebody, your guardian angel is helping you to see things from a higher frequency and how things could be like a, a, a throwing you into a karmic cycle. Here we have the world card here. And so you're closing out cycles in love. Again, closing out cycles in love, right? And here we have the lover's card. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love. Like I said, coming across your path before I can pull the card. And you're going to feel very, very fortunate to have a, a guardian angel that's watching over you, helping you to see things, helping you to see things. Remember, pentacles also deals with the physical part of it. So it's not just about the physical generosity is not just about the physical health. It's not just about the physical, right? Because the pentacles connects us with the element of earth. So it's not just about the physical. It's all so listening to what's coming through the air. Remember, you're an air sign and you move from your heart chakra, Aquarius. The heart can be tricky, but it's also looking for things that's in common, right? And so for you, what, would, what will alert you as an air sign to some things is... Um, because you look for things in common, you look for, you know, um, again, you moving from your heart chakra, um, love, trust, gratitude, forgiveness, compassion, kindness, healing, equanimity, right? And so you look for things as commonality and connections, right? So because you move from your heart chakra, what for you, Aquarius, looking at your cards here, um, causes you to start to really go into think mode, Right? In the past, it would have caused you to get into your spaceship and think about something else. But where you are now, boots on the ground, you're saying it causes you to go back to that person who did not see yourself in, um, when we talk about, where's the card? See this water right here? Okay, hold on. I got to pull this off because water... You're, you're talking about balance. You're an air sign, but you're a water bearer, right? Water bearer, right? You're an air sign. So there's air out here, you're a water bearer. Water symbolizes quality of relationships, friendships, um, uh, feelings, emotions, subconscious habits, moods, those kind of things, right? So when you're saying that you want divine partnerships in business and or in love, divine connections, that divinity means that you are already whole and complete. Your divine masculine to your divine feminine. And so that divinity already makes you whole and complete. This is your divine masculine to your divine feminine. So a person who is already whole and complete is not desperately looking for something else. You said your weight, right? Your weight on source, right? So you already know instantly if something will leave you, um, you know, you are already, you you can let go of any doubt whatsoever, which would put you in a star in reverse, right? You can just let go of any doubt and just go, go ahead and close out cycles and move forward. Go ahead and close out cycles and move forward. Now, see, if you had not done the mirror work, right, you had not done the mirror work, then you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't have seen something, right? And so you already saw a nightmare and you've already awakened from nightmares, right? You've already wakened from nightmares from the past, right? So good job, Aquarius. Good job. So like I said, some kind of a um, new opportunity to make money is coming across your path. And it's going to be pretty lucrative. It's going to be pretty lucrative, Aquarius. So like I said, make sure the blindfolds are off. You got the two of them. Um, and they are off. That's why this card right here, the person is just kind of sort of looking back at how like they didn't have, they had on blindfolds in the past. Maybe, you know, usually when people have on blindfolds, they can't really see themselves the way other people see you in the mirror. Like people could be looking at you and say, oh, I can see myself going into business with them. Oh, I can see myself, you know, dating them. Oh, I can see us as being friends, platonic, right? Or I can see myself, you know, aligning myself with that energy, right? But if you can't see yourself even in the mirror, you don't even know what the reflection is looking back at you, then it's hard for, you know, it, it makes it easy for um 
energies that have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior or energies that are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful to come in and take advantage of that, that, that vulnerability, that vulnerability, right? I think I gave an example one time before of one of Noah's sons doing that, just like kind of sort of being in a drunken state, you know, like drunk, drunk off that spirit, that wine and spirit, right? Just the overindulgence off of those, you know, being in a vineyard and just uh, drinking fermented wine. So being in that vineyard, you're like, okay, all of this, you know, being in environments where you, it's got kind of fertile soil, all of this growth around me, things are happening and, you know, and just thinking that, okay, I have these energies that's close to me. They're looking out for me. But one of those energies in particular did not look out, you know, for him. And so, um, and we know how that story went. So here we have the five of swords. Yeah. So, um, there's still some energies, Aquarius, like I said, that are still, you know, still, you know, um, talking about you behind your back. But again, that's behind your back. You're continuing to move forward. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, you got, you've already moved on from a depth of disappointment. Once things come through the air, because you all are incredible, like all, all air signs are cerebral. You're constantly thinking, constantly thinking your thought process. Like I said, we're talking about the element of air. So you can continue, you know, um, cutting ties, completely cutting ties, physical, emotional, all kinds of ties connecting you to anything. Um, and actually what, um, when you, when you are cutting what you see is not a divine connection. It actually, it actually helps you and whoever it is, whoever it is actually helps them too. So here we have the six of wands. So I definitely see you being victorious at cutting all ties, cutting all ties. Here we have the ace of wands. Third eye is open, definitely open. So yeah, here we have the 10 of wands. Get ready to be booked and busy and not burdened, you know, by that, like I said, that gossiping, that talking and that kind of thing, because it just makes it worse. You know, if there's any connection whatsoever, just just complete, just detach, complete detachment, physical, all detachment whatsoever, because it's, um, your spirit is alerting you to things of any kind of attachment whatsoever. So all detachment, just complete detachment from the type of spirit. Here we also have the three of swords. And so, like I said, you've been, you've been that been connected to that type of disappointment in the past so that you can make room for. And so once something is fully detached, once you know that someone has a spirit of gossiping about people behind their back um, because of their disappointment or ego or whatever the case may be, do a complete and total detachment because it would slow down new energies coming in because it does send out a confusing message. It sends out some kind of, you know, like staying connected to something like your head and heart are at war with each other. It sends out a very confusing message that you're still an overgiver. And so sources saying you're trying to balance. Remember, the beauty of Pluto is the fact that the entire world is being reset, right? So let Pluto reset things for you. So that's what I'm seeing for you. So let's see what we got going on here. So we got three, six, nine here. So yeah, so 10 and 10. So there's, um, like I said, you've been, at, look, like I said, you've been hurt both in your personal and your professional life, you know, Aquarius. And so it, the number for instant manifestation, like I said, source is putting you in spaces where you're booked and busy, not burdened at all. You got five and six of swords here, which is 11. 11 is a master number. So, so said, don't overthink this. Just pull out, just, just cut it off completely. Just cut all ties completely. Right here we have the knight of swords. Just stay, just get as far away from that as possible. Yeah. Cause it would just be a complete nightmare, a complete nightmare. You've already gone through, like I said, hurt on both your personal and your professional life. So yeah, like I said, it comes through like a breeze. It comes through like a like a breeze. So you know, while you're doing your mirror work, source world, like I said, you have a guardian angel on the other side that's saying just detach, completely detach, right? Even if you're saying, wow, like completely, oh yeah, okay, forgot that, forgot that, forgot that, completely detach. Because you know certain energies do have a spirit of... Uh, talking about people behind their back, you want no attachment whatsoever. Not for where you're going and for what you're doing. You don't want to have anything to do with that at all. So 
hopefully that's helpful, you know, to you all. So there it is. 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 Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Here we have Ace of Pentacles again, right? So this is both in your personal and your professional life. So like I said, you got, um, like I said, personal and professional. Yeah, personal and your professional life, Aquarius. Wow. Look at you. Y'all out here doing it. Y'all out here doing it. So, yeah, staying attached to energies that your your spirit is picking up on, that they have that talk about people behind their back spirit when you're trying to become a better humanitarian. We remember the moon being in Aquarius actually detaches everybody from the everyday. It distances everybody from the known reality, right? So the reality is, is that you've, you've had a big heart. You've, you've done things for people and you've, your heart has been in the right place towards them. And you've, um, you've given, you saw that commonality, you've connected with their pain yourself. And they've still talked about you like a person who has, you've gone out of your way and still have been talked about behind your back. You know, so you're not doing that anymore. So that's what this is, right? So like I said, a moon in Aquarius reminds everybody that we all came here with a mission that is far larger than we think, that we are here with a bigger purpose and a responsibility to use our gifts and talents as a contribution to our community or society at large, that you're not living life just for yourself or growing and healing just for your own good. Um... Your healing and transformation are needed for future life here on earth, right? So this is where action is. When the moon moves into Aquarius, it's focused action, your mind and plus focused action. When you're talking about you're moving forward and you got two situations coming, you know, across your path, both in your personal and your professional life, that's a new financial, like I said, new financial operation, um, situation, a career opportunity, something that you're manifesting both in your personal and your professional life. That's going to make you more abundant. You don't want to be tied to people who will stab you in the back that you can already see. You don't want to even be tied to that at all. That'll take care of itself. It'll take care of itself. Because if they're talking about you behind your back already, Aquarius, they're talking about other people behind their back, and it's already going to it's already taking care of itself. Here we have the six of pentacles here. You're not looking for their acceptance and their approval at all. So that's a six of pentacles, and that's what source is approving you for something. So good job. Here we have page of wands. You're gonna actually feel like you're gonna feel a lot more powerful. You're dealing with an energy that is um Somebody is dealing with an energy that is, when we talk about fire, we're talking about ideas, we're talking about um, clarity of thought. Page energy is youthful energy, right? So when you think about youthful energy, it can be youthful ideas or it can be energies. Uh, it has very self-limiting belief systems, you know. They redirect their hurt to in the wrong direction, is what I'm seeing here. Somebody's dealing with an energy that's redirecting their hurt. And your third eye is wide open about it. So, yeah. Here we have the three of wands. And you're saying it's not your responsibility to even connect with that. Right? Here we also have the six of wands. And so, again, like I said, you're not carrying that burden. So, it's two types of energies. Like I said before, is having some good old conversations. Here we have some eight of swords right here. And so, like I said, but... You know, but they're they're sabotaging themselves, actually. They're sabotaging themselves. You got some great opportunities coming your way. Here we have the Four of Swords. So, yeah, you're just letting something rest in peace and moving forward. Here we also have the Four of Wands here. And um, and then also the Five of Wands. And so you're, you're enlightened about those things. Yeah, here's the Judgment card. So the Judgment card, like I said before, something is over. You're, you're beyond whatever judgment, you know, energies, whatever, people judging you. You're beyond that. So it doesn't matter. Like I said, so congratulations, Aquarius. Um, you're moving forward. There's a very powerful transformation that's happening here. And the Judgment card connects us with Pluto. Like I said, Pluto is currently retrograde. Good, good, goody, goody, goody. Aquarius, like I said, just cut all ties. Cut all ties. Something came across your path and you were made aware of something and that's it. That's it. You don't need to engage in conversation about it. Like I said, cut ties so that you can continue moving forward. And um, and that's it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what else we got going on here. You already have the questions for the moon in Aquarius. You already have the questions. You already have the questions. You already have the questions here. So 
Yeah, something that you don't need to overthink at all. Something that you don't need to overthink at all. Here we have the Six of Cups. You're just moving on in childlike faith, right? Yeah. Yeah, moving on childlike faith. Three, three. Okay. Yeah, Six of Cups. You're just moving on um, in childlike faith. Yeah, moving forward. Moving forward. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so yeah. So anyway, so I'm looking at like I said, you're building a uh you're building a very rich legacy here. So um and then Yeah, so you, you absolutely have to know, you absolutely have to know um, what your demons are. So the devil card symbolizes enslaved to any kind of obsession. So if you obsessively are an overgiver, like overgiver of thought to things like, okay, you're heading harder at war with each other, or you're connecting with energies that you feel like, okay, it's so much of a connection that you say, okay, you feel bad. You know, you feel bad when their agenda is to hurt you you know, Aquarius in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and it feels like deja vu, it's better for you to say, okay, you'd rather cut ties and so, and let source show you, you know, first and just let things happen. And so you're seeing things, somebody's seeing something. So you learn how to save yourself. So congratulations. Yeah. You learn how to save yourself and then it, it kicks something back. And so, um, you're not lamenting over anything. So you've already been there. So other energies are lamenting, whatever lamenting looks like, it can look like people complaining. It can look like people, you know, uh, angry, whatever lamenting looks like for people. It's not, this doesn't always look like, it can look like crying out or gossiping. It could, you know, what lamenting looks like. Y'all know what lamenting means. Um, it can look like a lot of things. Let's see what else we got going on. Cause we're going to try to keep this. Like I said, we're going to try to keep it under 30 minutes. Um, Aquarius, let's see, let's see this. What else we got? What else we got? What else we have? What else we have? But yeah, so when uh, Pluto is retrograde, it's a very sensitive time for planet Earth, period. Because retrograde does not mean that planets move backwards. It doesn't mean that planets move at a slower pace, you know, at all. Um, it just means you slow down. You get an opportunity to slow down. You can slow down. Slow down your pace. Yeah, slow down your pace. Um so that you can catch the message so that you can catch the message yeah so you can put a manhole cover over something like i said something you don't even need to overthink you don't need to overthink it source is making sure you're financially independent a new partnership is coming across somebody's path in business like i said or and or in love and so like i said what i say something would have been a complete nightmare it would have been a complete nightmare here we have the seven of cups here you're not even um you're not even tempted you know by anything you're just like i said before the seven of cups you saw something so on some cars like you see on this car right here like somebody looks like they're at a club or something they look like they're looking out over something like it's temptation right so whatever your temptation is like but on some cars you see a snake slithering away right and so snakes actually also symbolize rebirth as well so um and then on the medical symbol, obviously, you have, you know, two snakes, good, bad snake. Source is saying to you, once you see how energies um, move, and then so you just move right on out of the way, right? So when you notice that, right? So in the case of you meeting somebody like at a coffee or tea house, and you say, hmm, something about the way they move, you know, just doesn't sit right with you. And you're sitting on your throne observing everything, right? You don't look at, you're not looking down at anybody from your throne. As a matter of fact, the goal is to help them see themselves on the throne. That's the goal is to help them see themselves on the throne so that they can see who they're opening up a door to in their universe, right? So it's never to look down on anybody, right? So here we have the three of swords here. So, um, and then also the four of swords. So like I said, you're, you've already moved on from something. And it's not even a temptation for you. So, again, booked and busy. 
kept them busy, not burdened at all, right? So there's definitely some energies that kind of want to reach out to you, but you've already, like I said before, you're not, um, the full card came out twice and you're saying, no, you're not interested in, um, any distractions whatsoever. No distractions whatsoever. None, 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 no distractions. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Yeah, rebirths are very, very sensitive. Think about it because our bodies are portals, right? And so when you're talking about rebirth, you're giving birth to something, right? So you're giving birth to yourself from seedling. You planted those seeds. You're watering those seeds, right? So you're saying to source you want sacred relationship. You're planting some new seeds, right? So you're in that, that you know, sort of like a greenhouse effect. You're protecting all of that right? You're in fertile soil. You're putting yourself in places where you can grow. Um, like I said, your health. Um, so your health is important to you. You know, the air is important to you. The sunlight or fire is important to you. Certainly water is important to you. So sacred relationships, you know, are so, so important to you. So protecting your ear gate and eye gate is also very important to you all Aquarius. So protect yourselves. Yeah, document your dreams day and night. Yeah, your enemy's plan backfire. You're protected by angels. Like I said, somebody have an angel. So um, do the mirror work. Yeah. Um, ask source for clarity. So you have a whole new attitude. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly. Somebody's ex wants to return. You deserve the best. Your new home awaits. So congratulations. You're dealing with an incubus, um, you know, sex demon. So your next love interest will make you a lot happier. So follow your heart. Get locked in and laser focused. You are protected in love and just pray for people. Like I said before, um, even if people are talking about you behind your back, saying all sorts of things, here we have make room for a new blessing, make a list of pros and cons. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. Um, trust your first mind, right? So solar plexus chakra cleanse. And so somebody also misses you, but things are starting to flow to you like water Aquarius. Had you entered into some kind of... Um, um, and that's what a lot of times when you have on blindfolds, you don't know that you're entering into negative, infinite um, ties with energies, right? You can't see it because you can't see what you can't see was looking back at you in the mirror, right? So that's what doing the mirror work is. And that's how you're breaking any kind of spell of not being able to see yourself. You can look up things online. A lot of, there's a lot of things I can teach you all, Aquarius, but again, I know it's the World Wide Web. Other energies are listening. So do your own research, okay? I'll just put it that way. Do your own research. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Send any good energy your way. You'll be fine. Your cards are saying you are just fine, Aquarius. You all are just fine. Cut all ties. Cut all ties. You have a, a guardian angel that's helping you with this. Don't worry about who's judging you, what people are saying about you behind your back. You know that your ex is some, somebody has an ex that's somehow tied to something. It could be an ex-friend, ex-love interest, family member, ex, whoever ex communicated out of your life, ex, whatever ex is, right? So the source is saying, yeah, but yeah, our energies work together for whatever, but you were born to inspire. Here we have 33. I am expanding. Any positive changes or projects that you're considering right now, Aquarius, will be worth your while. Expect that the power to manifest and create will be heightened. That's right. Will be heightened. You're cutting off all things that source is showing you in the spirit realm, source, your ancestors. Over. You have a lot of ancestors around you. That's how proud people are of you. You know, Aquarius, the energy work that you've done, the mirror work that you've done, um, all of those things. And so something about you learning how to save yourselves, you know, Aquarius, and operating in childlike faith, both in your personal and your professional life, is um, that people are still holding on to things. People are still talking about the same old things. People are still, um, you know, that fire, like I said, could be used for all energy. You can see the light and dark side of energy. So remember, Pluto is also the planet of obsession. So there's some energies that are obsessed with you not going through your growth process. So imagine going from seedling to sprouting, and there's some energies that don't want you to sprout. So, but nobody can stop you from what source is already predestined. So, you don't, that's like I said, you don't have anything to worry about. So, like I said, you should feel very fortunate that you do have loved ones on the other side. The source is already protecting you, you know, on your journey, Aquarius. I already gave you the questions, you know, in the previous reading. So, go back and watch that. Um, yeah, go back and watch that. 
inspired action. There's 33 again. There's another master number. So those of you all who say, well, I saw, I keep seeing such and such a number. There it is, 33. You were definitely born to inspire. Thir the number three itself is born to inspire, right? So you were definitely born to inspire. Definitely born to inspire. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. I am beginning an exciting new path of self-discovery, of self-discovery. Yeah, of self-discovery. That devil card, it says temptations on this card, Aquarius. Something was threatening to demonize you. Something was threatening to demonize you. So where's the card? You remember the um, Flintstones where you have angel on one shoulder, devil on another shoulder. I know I'm dating myself, but y'all know. Y'all remember. <laughs> go go YouTube it. <laughs> but this uh, episode of the Flintstones from back in the day where he had an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another shoulder trying to make a decision, right? And so the devil would be, you know, like I said, the devil would be, um, you know, enslaved to some kind of obsession, lust, restrictions, those kind of things. And so ideally... You want to, you want to, um, you want to be led by spirit, most high God, right? You want to be led by spirit, right? And you want to be in a divine covenant with spirit. So when you're in divine covenant with spirit, you're allowing spirit to lead you, lead and guide you. So ideally you don't, you want to be able to see energies that want to make you look like the evil twin, right? Remember, the lover's card connects us with uh, twin energy. So good, bad, seen, unseen, known, unknown. So when you hear people say, let me introduce you to my better half or um, this person is my peace or whatever the case may be, then it will imply that there's a uh, dark and light in that. So we all embody you know, when you're talking about balance and you're talking about Pluto resetting the planet Earth, there's light and dark in everybody, right? So, so it's, a, it's a balance there. And so recognizing what that balance is within yourself in all humility. There are some energies that will try to um, make you appear to be dark and them to appear to be light, Aquarius. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. So protect your energy. And so, and it comes in many different forms, you know, it comes in so many different forms. You all have seen the movies, like a person will look into the mirror and they don't recognize the energy looking back at themselves and they'll see an evil image in a mirror, right? Until that evil image takes over. So source is saying, protect yourself, do your mirror work. You know, Aquarius, and it looks like someone has. So sever ties, you don't have to overthink it to a point of confusion at all. Because that the longer you overthink it, the more you start to doubt yourself. And the more confusion it actually sends out into the universe, okay? So that's what I see for you all. Um, continue moving forward. And the more you're talking to other people about it, and they're throwing their mix in, and they're in a state of confusion. So you absolutely want to talk to Source, pray about it. Like what's, you know, why am I confused about such and such unless source um, show you, whatever it is. Let's see. Um, and that's what I have for you. That's what I, that's what I have for you. We have the monology card. So yeah, you were definitely born to, you have learned, you have learned how to take lemons and make lemonade. You've learned how to take bricks that were thrown at you, um, harsh judgment and build a, an amazing life, you know, you know, and so you got a lot of great partnerships coming across. Here we have take time to just breathe out, right? You just take some time to breathe out because you're still learning a lot of things. You know, just you're, you're learning a lot of things about yourself, Aquarius. And so when you don't know, there's nothing to be ashamed of anything. It's just like, like when you don't know, you don't know. But now you're learning. And so now you're in the light. Now you are enlightened. 
And so that's what I have for you. So like I said, a moon and your sign for you specifically as an air sign emphasizes your superior mental gifts and ability to deal successfully with different kinds of personalities. Um, this is a successful combination for people in the field of communication. So there's so many different forms of communication. So what kind of message does it send out when you don't cut all ties with something that sources, sources alerting you to, like sh showing you something, take the blindfolds off, right? And so um, you'd rather be safe than sorry down the line. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.